What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I have sort of a random pack opening, as you guys can see. We actually have some rare packs right here that I'm going to open up, because first off, we have uh, some Hidden Arsenal 7 packs. I was able to find these online. They were actually decent price, I think they were like 4 bucks each, like the price they should be, or I guess they were back then. So I, I had to pick them, I picked up all the ones they had, their first edition, which I don't know if there was unlimited for this, maybe there was from the 10s or something. But this is probably like the hardest to get a Hidden Arsenal set. And also, we do know Hidden Arsenal is getting like a new set later on this year too. Like a, I think it's Hidden Arsenal Chronicle or Story so far. Or I don't know. It's, it's something like that. We're basically a bunch of Hidden Arsenal subs getting reprinted. So thought it'd be kind of the time to do this. And then also we have the Yukio GX Next Generation uh, Blister Pack thing. I don't know what you were to call it. It's like an early special edition because I think this is before a lot of the special editions we used to have. And three different older packs here, and then a Whitehorn Dragon. These are actually pretty expensive, but. I got it pretty cheap, so I want to see what we got here. Should I keep it sealed? Probably. Am I the kind of guy to do that? Look back at the videos, you guys. You know the answer. So, um, Hidden Arsenal first. We'll go with that. But yeah, if you like me spending a bunch of money and getting some cards and, you know, actually getting a good deal on these, uh, let me know by hitting that like button, leave a comment, make sure you're subscribed, all this stuff helps out, and check out my link with TCG Player. You buy anything after clicking on that link, doesn't have to be even Yu-Gi-Oh cards, it helps support the channel. It really does. So, I appreciate all the support you guys can give me. Please. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it, because I don't know if it's, I think it's Secret First, is it? Yeah, there you go. We have Constellar Star Charts. These cards are a little bit warped because they're all holographic. That happens with a lot of older ones. Heavy book overnight, especially if you got a textbook. If you're in school or something, you have one of those heavy textbooks. Leave it overnight on a desk with that. There you go. You're good. So don't worry. It's not damaged. Iron Hammer, the Giant. Constellar. Gem Knight Zirconia. That's pretty good, actually. And one of the Lovels. But yeah, that's an easy fix. Heavy textbook overnight. I, I used to do that all the time. Okay. What do we got on this one? Oh, yeah, I remember this card. Uh, DD Esper Star Sparrow. Yeah, I remember that from the anime. Whoop, focus, please. There we go. It's just too pretty. <laughs> it's too shiny. But there you go. Hard to bring out, but kind of interesting, actually. Another one of our Gym Knights. Oh, Lantern. I haven't seen Evil Swarm in a while. There's a couple of Evil Swarms, actually. Okay. And now... Oh, now that's a nice one. Constellar, please. Yeah, it's getting a few reprints. It's had a few reprints, really. But I still love this card. It is, like, one of the best, like, rank fives out there. Still very usable, even by today's standards. I think that says something, honestly. And uh, a first edition one, it's pretty cool. I think I still have a dual terminal one, even, that I use from time to time. So that's a cool one. That is one of my favorites. He, he looks like a knight, too, so bonus points. He was from Golem. Salamandra, it's kind of cool there. Fragment Fusion. And then, oh yeah, a Azoth, have you say that? Yeah, another Evil Swarm, basically. Yeah, we won XC monsters, basically, from these. What we got next? Like, Lavalo Chain would be pretty dang amazing, too. Then, oh, I was hoping I called it. <laughs> I don't know why, I thought we had an XC. Evil Swarm Thunderbird. Good one for Evil Swarms. Again, that's like one of the archetypes I still say, give them just like two, or like more cards, just a few. And they would be good again. Like, seriously, I don't think it would take much. So, yeah. <laughs> that could be good to have. Levels, Gem Knights, and Evil Swarms. Yeah, like, seriously, I think they ought to just do a redone version of Ophion, and you're good. So, because Ophion does something against, you know, it's, it's like good against levels, and so we have links and stuff. That's the reason. All right. Oh, there we go. There's our cover card. We have Evil Swarm Ouroboros. Yeah, I'm actually able to say it. I'm kind of surprised myself. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. I remember this card was starting to get pricier too. I think it was like later in one of the gold sets. No, gold series or premium gold. Not premium gold. Uh, whatever was before or like maximum gold and all that. Anyway, yeah, that is awesome to get though. That's like one of the best XCs for back then. I mean, it's like your evil Trishula. So, yeah. More Evil Swarms. And Stellar as well. Like I said, any XC you get from this set, you're, you're golden, you know? So we're doing good. Then, Iron Call. Remember, this card was pretty hype back then, too. It was actually kind of decent. I think that was around the time with Gear Gears and stuff. Gustos. Gishki, yeah, I miss Gishkis. And last pack for our Hidden Arsenal. Can we get a Digusto Emerald or a Lavalo Chain? I know, we got Uroboros and... Pleadies, so I'm being a little greedy, 
but I want one of those, so let's see. You shouldn't expect less. And... You know what? I'll take that, too. We have Evil Swarm Ophion. Dang, okay. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Like I said, this card is still scary. It is still one of the most annoying Xyz out there. Just not played anymore. The game's changed since then, you know? But I swear, if they just update this card just a little bit, make like a new version, maybe a Link version or something, it would suck so much to go against. Because I used to hate going against this deck. Like, seriously. And I think that says something good about it. You're like, I might hate to go against it, but that means it was strong. <laughs> so, yeah, Ophion, it was so cool looking, too. So, that is cool. Let's see, against Stellar. Lazuli, there you go. That's a good one, too. Gishki, and then another Evil Swarm. But, yeah, Ophion, that, that was one of the best decks there for a while. And now... This GX pack. I'm excited to open this up, but also very nervous. Let's see. I do wish that if the packs were first dead, I probably wouldn't do this. Maybe. I don't know. Then again, you guys know my history. <laughs> I have a real hard time not opening up packs because I feel like that's what they're made for. I can understand keeping a few sealed, but you gotta set the cards free. They gotta breathe, right? Am I going crazy? Probably. I'm, I'm being very careful. <laughs> Let's see. Shadow Infinity, if you didn't know that. Uh, then, of course, Elemental Energy, one of my favorite sets ever. And then Cyberneck Revolution. We're getting close to that uh, Cyber Dragon structure deck. Another one, yeah. <laughs> and um, I guess technically Cyber Dark, still Cyber Dragons. But yeah, it would be nice to get something from that. There we go. Okay, Whitehorn Dragon. Had to be careful. I did not want to fall out of the packaging. It's been there for a while. So, <laughs> I don't even know what year this thing came out. I don't know if it even says, but... Uh, does it say? I don't think so. Nope. Not that I'm saying. It's been a while. So, <laughs> yeah. Let's see what we get for our packs. Um, I think I want to leave Cybernetic Revolution for last. Let's go with Shadow Infinity. Like it matters, right? Okay. If this doesn't get a few likes in this video, I don't know what will, you guys. Okay. I have Hero Kid. Ant Eater Eating Ant. <laughs> Neo Bubble Man. Success probability 0%. Hopefully it's better than that for this. Goblin Out of the Frying Pan. Yeah, nothing else. I think it was rares or hollows in these, of course. Uh, Ancient Gear Drill. Ancient Gear Prototype. Super Junior Confrontation. And Saber Beetle. So just to read of that one. Elemental Energy. It could be all rares. I am really hope not. Okay. Gateway to Dark World. That's pretty good. Branch. <laughs> you gotta yell it. Nano Breaker. League of uh, Uniform Nomenclature. We have Brow Huntsman of Dark World. So yeah, no hollow out of that one. Fernal Incinerator. Oxygenon. Non Fusion Area. And Level Modulation. Okay. Cybernetic Revolution. Come on, just give me a hollow. Anything. I would love a Cyber Dragon, let's be honest, but give me something. Still fun to open these up either way. Although, way more nerve-wracking. Okay. She and Spy. Steam Gyroid. Spiritual Art. Water Art, I should say. Soitsu. DDM, Different Dimension Master. So yeah, no hollow. Ouch. <laughs> Domino Fighter Lily. Tyranno Infinity, still good today. Uh, Spiritual Fire Art and Mad Lobster. So, yeah, unfortunately, we did, you know, really good, though, with Hidden Arsenal 7, so I guess our good luck then ended, and we didn't do as good with the GX pack, but open up those GX packs is still awesome. I, I, I don't regret it. I don't regret it. <laughs> I love those sets. I miss that. There's so much nostalgia for me opening up GX, because that was still, like, one of my favorite times playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Check out that link with TCG Player. Stay safe out there, and of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.